Well, hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Benita. Today, I want to talk about a special topic. You know, um, I am the founder of Unshackled from Depression and Anxiety Group Number 2. And I, it, it is such an honor to be able to serve God's people as they make their exodus, their journey out of the claws of the enemy. It's just so refreshing to be able to encourage them. You know, it's so heart-wrenching sometimes when I see things that they're going through, the little struggles. And I thank God that he's given me the opportunity to begin to address those issues, those things. And hopefully somebody can hear a word of liberation in a particular area that may be a trouble spot for them and it will help them in their journey. And so today, we're going to get ready to turn this music off, but first I want to pray. We're going to talk today about, I'm taking meds, but I'm still depressed, and I'm still filled with anxiety. How can that be? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and praise you and honor you for the opportunity to just come and talk to your children today. I thank you, Lord God, it says in your word that your people are perished for lack of knowledge. But God, we don't have to perish. And we don't have to have lack of knowledge. God, I thank you that you allowed me to go through some things. David said it was a good thing that I had been afflicted. You allowed me to go through some things and to come out on the other side. And now I can be a voice of wisdom to your people. You allowed me to go through the claws of the enemy for 14 years. I was caught in depression and in despair, God. Father, I had, Lord God, high-functioning depression, had um, severe depression, Father God. I was suicidal, um, tried to uh, take my life several times, had anxiety, Father God, had um, compulsive, Lord God, intrusive thinking, had symptoms of PTSD and schizophrenia. But God, hallelujah, you showed me how to be free. And so, God, I thank you and praise you. You ordained me. Lord God, to help your people. And so God, prepare me today. Let them hear your voice, God. Even though it was my experience, it was because of you that I was able to come out. And so God, we thank you and praise you that you will speak today to your children. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. It's always so amazing to me when I think about all that I have gone through and how far God has brought me. Uh, Wow, I just didn't think I'd ever come out. (laughs) It was just such a treacherous experience dealing with depression and anxiety. It just uh, just seemed like a ever, what? I don't know, a never ending, uh, you know, torment. But I'm here to tell you that there is another side and you can come out and you can smile again. Oh, wow. It's so wonderful to be on the other side. And I want to encourage you and let you know that you also will be there. Amen. In fact, you're really already there, but it's all of the, you know, the yucky stuff that you have to kind of get um, and you have to eliminate and kind of get an understanding about so that you can stand in the place of freedom. Amen. Jesus Christ, through the um, his blood that was shed, through the work on Calvary, he destroyed, he demolished the enemy's um, power to keep you in the bondage of depression and or anxiety. Amen. And other um, mental issues, you know, that have been diagnosed. I'm here to tell you that di- the diagnosis can be real, it can be authentic, but there's one who goes beyond um, what the limitations of doctors. Amen. So in fact, we're going to kind of talk about that today. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can be on meds, but you can still um, be experiencing the symptoms of depression and anxiety. And so you wonder like, how could that possibly happen? But it can happen. Um, and how the reason that that can happen is that From my perspective, God has shown me that depression and anxiety are a spiritual issue. This is what I'm saying. A spiritual issue in that it is the invasion of demonic forces in our soul, in our emotions, and in our mind. But that spiritual issue can cause physical symptoms, ailments, it can cause psychological issues. It can cause, um, you know, all types of things. So it happens in your soul, but your spirit can be weakened and your body can um, be affected by it. All right. So when you go to the doctor, when I go to a medical doctor, right, 
they're going to prescribe something. They may prescribe and, and being on meds is no sin. Being on meds doesn't mean you're weak or anything else. People have, take meds for all kinds of things. So if a part of your journey is that you're on meds, it's just a part of your journey. It's really not that much of a biggie. A lot of times Christians have just done too much in that area. Amen. Uh, most importantly, what we need to be making sure that people have done and that they're doing is that they're being led by the spirit of God. That They have invited the spirit of God who knows that person better than they know themselves. That he knows their molecular makeup. He knows their physical, psychological, spiritual makeup. He knows everything about them. And he knows what their journey should look like and at every stage of their journey, what it should look like, which it can change as you are emerging from depression and anxiety. You can start off one way. You can start off having to listen to um, soaking worship and the word of God um, for eight hours a day. And then after a while, as you get built up and you get strengthened, maybe you don't have to have that as much. Or you're able now to read the word of God. Or you are taking a class. Or you are exercising and eating properly and all this kind of stuff. You know, all of these things can be a part of your journey. Amen. But we have to understand that it's a spiritual issue and you have to deal with it on the spiritual, um, on a spiritual level, no matter if you are being um, prescribed or you are using psychotropic meds. The psychotropic meds are doing the work in our, as far as chemicals are concerned in our bodies, doing the work on a physical level. But there's some other parts of us that have been affected by depression and or anxiety. Right? We get the physical part of us. Now, the fatigue of depression and anxiety is different from normal fatigue because this is a spirit of fatigue. And so it has to be dealt with like a spirit, but your body still is feeling the effect of it. So God may have you to listen to the word of God, demolishing the power of the spirit of fatigue and telling you that you need to do exercise to release endorphins. You see, it's on all three levels. And so if I'm taking meds, right? And I think that when I take the meds, that's going to mean that I'm not going to feel the symptoms. I'm not going to feel any symptoms at all. I may feel symptoms because it's still a spiritual issue. The meds didn't stop the enemy from dropping thoughts in my mind. Oh, come on. It didn't, it didn't stop that. My exercise, releasing the endorphins, did not stop the enemy from releasing thoughts in my mind. If I'm, if, if what my, my premise is that depression comes from a spiritual attack from the devil. So I still have to deal with that. I still need to be renewing my mind. I still need emotional healing. I still need to be speaking back to the spirits using the authority that God has given me and, and doing and modeling what Jesus did in the, in the wilderness. I still have to do that. I have to deal with it on all three levels, the spiritual level, the soul level, and the physical level. So if I think I can pop a pill, come on somebody, and I'm never going to have a symptom. I might have a symptom if indeed the symptom is coming from the enemy. So then you say, well, what's the use of having the pill, period? Well, there's different reasons. Some people um, um, have pills or use pills or it's a part of their emergence process because it helps to stabilize them for a moment so that they can kind of get a thought about what happened and it may help reduce some of the severity of the symptoms, okay? But in essence, if I believe that it's a spiritual issue, I still need to take care of and deal with resolving the issue on all three levels, not just one. Y'all hear what I'm saying to y'all today? 
All right? So that's why it's so important to say, Holy Spirit, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know how to get out of this cave. I want to get out of this cave. I don't know how to do it. So the Holy Spirit is going to begin to lead you. So let's say the Holy Spirit leads you to unshackle. Well, primarily what I'm teaching has to do with the spiritual aspect. We do have a little bit of the physical because we do the, the RET, the releasing endorphins time, right? And we're dealing with cleansing emotions from our soul. So we really do deal with it on all three levels. But what I'm saying is you may, in addition to doing that, in addition, y'all, in addition, not instead of, come on, somebody, not instead of, but in addition, a plus sign. In addition to doing those things, dealing with my mindset, dealing with cleansing emotions, dealing with speaking back to the enemy, I still will take my pill. Come on, somebody. If that is what I am doing and that's where I am in the process. Sometimes people need to take uh, meds because of their mentality. They don't, they don't necessarily have the confidence that they can do it strictly by dealing with it on a spiritual level. And that's okay. You have room for all of that. But maybe after time goes on while they're doing the work on the spiritual level and they are also physically doing work, they start getting more confidence that maybe I can be weaned off of these meds. Well, then that's when I need to have a conversation with my doctor. Okay. So you have to make your choice. Maybe in you, you need to have a goal. Ultimately, what is your goal? Ultimately, do I want to be able to um, um, be able at the place? Because it's not about managing when you talk about um, um, depression. No, it's eliminating. Okay. I don't teach you how to manage. I teach you how to eliminate because I'm teaching you how to back that devil up off you. But maybe you aren't there. Maybe you just want to, you know, you're like, well, I don't want to do all of that. Okay. So if you don't want to do all of that or, or you're not being led or you don't feel like that's what you want to do, then you don't do that. Let's say you take your meds and you exercise. Okay then that's what you will, that's what, that's your choice. You can do that and you will have the results therein. Well, maybe you decide, well, I don't want to do that. I just want to deal with it from a physical perspective. I'm just going to start eating foods that they say are good for this, that, and the other. Then you do that. See, but the thing of it is, we don't know what to do. <laughs> the word of the Lord said, if you lean not to your own understanding, you don't know what you need in order to come out of depression and anxiety. You don't know what you need. So that again is why you say spirit of the living God. You, you are the one who can guide me into all truth. I need your help. And so then you begin to watch the movement of the spirit. If the spirit of God leads you to unshackle from depression, then what he's telling you, a part of what he's telling you in your, in your emergence process is that you need to do some things that are going to strengthen your spirit man. And it's going to teach you how to deal with your soul, get your mind renewed. Um, you know, it, it's, if he's, if he led you here. But first of all, when you come here, you probably checking me out. Is she legit? Is she, you know, is she trying to get my money? Come on, somebody, <laughs> which I am not. It, did she, was she really that depressed? What did she want? Well, you know, who is she? So you're discerning, you're checking me out. You may try a couple of things. Sometimes you may listen to me for a whole year and do absolutely nothing that I'm teaching you to do. But when the time is right, you may start applying some things and then begin to see some kind of results. Or you might apply it and it, you may be having a, t a tough time with it. And you say, I don't, I'm not, that's not working for me. Well, then that may not be what you need for that season. Or maybe God's going to deal with yours a different way. I hear what I'm saying? But what I want you to understand is that spiritually speaking, right? Depression happens. It's a spiritual um, attack of the devil, right? 
that will manifest damage in your soul, right? A weakening of your spirit and things that, and it may also affect you physically. And I'm going to say, including with the psychological aspect of that. So then you have to have a regiment that deals with all of that. Y'all hear what I'm saying to you? That's the key here. You can't just do one. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because a lot of us, I love you, but a lot of us, I love y'all here. Y'all here, I say I love y'all. But a lot of us, you're late. we lazy. <laughs> just, I want to pop a pill. And this more this to be over. I pop a pill, ask somebody to pray for me. This need to be over. God, I get it. I wanted that too, right? But really, it's our responsibility to take care of our soul, not God's or anybody else. Jesus. He told us what to think on. Come on, somebody. God told us. We're to deliver, deliberately place our mind in our thinking. So if any, the, what we're thinking that's releasing and stimulating negative emotions, making us feel bad, is not on that list. Is it pure? Is it lovely? Is it a good report? Is it, you know, if it's not on that list, then we have made a choice not to obey God. So then when you come to me, I'm going to say, listen. I know what you're experiencing is real, but it's a deception, right? And so we're going to start dealing with that. And we're going to, and I know you're tired. Some of your tiredness has nothing to do with the fact that you don't, that you got a low blood or you, you don't have enough B6. There's an, a spiritual, the revelation that I have that there's a spirit of fatigue and it has to be dealt with spiritually. So you take your vitamin B. You take your multivitamins and your iron tablets and uh, you listen to soaking worship and you speak back to that spirit. Come on, somebody. And you do your exercise. It's all three levels. I want you to understand that. So if you're just dealing with one level, when it comes to depression and anxiety, that may be why you're still having problems. It might be that your season is over using um, the, the meds. That's why, once again, you need to employ the Holy Spirit. And sometimes while you're depression, anxiety, filled with anxiety, maybe you've never heard the Spirit of God speak. Maybe you don't know the voice of God. Maybe you're not sure that God, what God wants. That's why you assemble yourself to other people. Ask God, Lord, I need somebody to help me through this process. And I need for you to reveal to me what it is you want me to do. And even if I need a helper, you know, the spirit of God is your helper, but he, you can also have a helper with skin <laughs> for a little while till you develop your ear to hear God. Or maybe God will speak to you in a dream, maybe in a situation, maybe in, you know, it's all this, but you need to be guided through this journey that may, you may be peeling off and adding things for the whole way through. And that's okay. Okay. You may have a season where you're taking meds. A season where you're not taking, a season you're taking meds, a season where you're weaning off of meds, uh, a season where you are, you know, exercising and having the meds, a season where you're exercising and having the meds and eating properly, a season while you're just now, um, you, God maybe have you start weaning off of the meds and then you're having a season where you're eating properly and you are, um, you're eating, you're eating properly, you're doing your exercise, then you may, you know, but the bottom line is we're trying to bring back you to a place of health, healthy mind. And there's ways to get your, your mind healthy through spiritual aspects, ways to get you, cleanse your emotions. And then you have the rest of you. You are, we are a human spirit, right? With a soul housed in a body. All three levels have to be dealt with when you are coming out of depression and anxiety. So that might be why some of you are having the difficulty that you are having because you're just dealing with one level of you. Okay. It's a combination of things that, and you got to keep on saying, God, thanking him for leading you and guiding you for each season. It's different seasons that you go through and it's okay. Okay. So just wanted to stop by. 
So um, some of you, I think you're frustrated because you're like, I'm taking these meds, you know, and sometimes you, you just have to find the right one that's compatible to your body. You understand that, right? Y'all know that, right? So you might be going through that and saying, wow, I'm still depressed. Well, are you dealing with eliminating it on all three levels? You see? And then are you constantly, you know, thanking the Holy Spirit for guiding you? If, if you're having problems with the meds, are you going back and saying, God, you talk, you're telling your doctor, but are you talking to God too? God, I'm not quite understanding what's going on here. I just can't seem to find the right med. You know, would you lead and guide me? And then begin to ask him to help you to hear his voice through his different modes of communication. You don't have to feel ashamed, okay? That I don't want you to do. This has nothing to do with your significance. You're good if you're struggling with your meds. You're good if you're not. You're good if you're on meds. You're good if you're not. You're good if you're on meds and doing exercise and drinking, um, what they call that? I think it's, um, it's like a... Um, it's certain juices that they say help to reduce stress and okay, certain lemonades and different things. You're good, you're good. Right? But you need to find out and you need to ask the Holy Spirit, what is the plan that you have for me to come out of the claws of the devil? Help me to hear it. Help me to discern it. And then follow what he says, the word of the Lord said, I will instruct you and teach you the way that you should go. I will guide you with my own, my, my eye. He said, but be not as a mule or a horse. Don't be stubborn and don't be anxious. I'm here to tell you there's a way out and there's a way for you to learn how to keep a healthy soul even when the enemy who does still have access, even when he knocks on our door, the enemy is only threatened by educated believers who know how to execute the strategies. Amen. So God bless you. Just wanted to stop by and say a little something, something with you. I pray this helps somebody. Amen. If you have additional questions, whatever I can do, but I don't want you to be ashamed that you take meds or you're having issues with them. Sometimes it's just a messy process and it's okay. God bless you.